I'm Scott Tibbles with the Investing News Network, and I'm here today at the Sprott Natural Resources Symposium with Nolan Watson, President and CEO of Sandstorm Gold. Thanks for joining me, Nolan. Well, thanks for having me. Just to start off, can you tell me a little bit about yourself and Sandstorm Gold? Yeah, so I'm the President and CEO of a company called Sandstorm, as you mentioned, and we're a gold royalty company. It's a very simple business model. What it means is we get a percentage of companies' production and a percentage of their revenue, and we do that all over the world. So we have 188 royalties around the world, so we're getting checks from all corners of the earth, and we redeploy that to continue to grow and buy new royalties. Okay, and can you explain to me why uh, investing in royalties would be uh, a better decision than, say, investing in just mining? Yeah. I could talk about that for hours, mm -hmm. I, I won't, <laughs> but the, the key thesis is it eliminates a number of risks that are typically inherent in mining. Uh, there's jurisdictional risk, political risk, we get to diversify, so we're not focused on one or two or three mines. We've got 188 assets around the world. We get to diversify risk associated with types of deposits and, and types of companies and counterparties, and so that diversification is incredible. It's like investing in 188 different companies, mm -hmm. but all in one, and we're specifically selecting those. You also get lower risk associated with cost overruns, lower risk associated with inflation, mm -hmm. and a whole, whole host of other things. Okay, and so uh, if you've acquired a, over acquired 188, uh, what's the future of Sandstorm? Is it just to keep acquiring more? Well, so at some point in time, once you've built a company, and, and we have done that, and we're very proud of it, you have to start returning uh, capital to shareholders, mm -hmm. and that's something that we're excited to be doing. Right now, we're doing it in the form of share buybacks, so we're mm -hmm. continuing to grow Sandstorm. We are a growth company. We're continuing to add to our streams and royalties. We're buying back shares at the exact same time, and so the goal is add shareholder value. So if we can shrink our share float and increase our royalties every year, I think that'll be a good model. Okay, so and can you, do you think you could just run me through what Sam's Sandstorm looks for in a royalty? What do you look for in a project? Hmm. So one of the areas where we differentiate ourselves significantly is that we are very, very focused on assets with significant expiration upside. So we're obviously looking for the, the clear, obvious things like good counterparties and reasonable political jurisdictions and low risk on the technical execution and good grade deposits and all those things. But what we really want to do are find situations for our investors where we have paid for a certain mine life and then the mine life will be double, triple, quadruple, maybe 10 times more than what we actually paid for. And all of that expiration upside comes for free. And that's really where we get the high returns for investors. Okay, and so with 188, and as director and CEO, I'll just assume that you've got intimate knowledge of every single one of them. Uh, <laughs> can you can you tell me? Uh, do you have a favorite? Is there one that has the best story or the most potential? Well, there's there's lots of different ones that we like. We have a, lar a number of large ones with lots of expiration upside. We did a, a silver stream on an asset called Cerro Moro. It's got 2,000 square kilometers of area of interest for future exploration upside. That's an asset that Yamana has just built and it's up and running. Mm -hmm. We've got one of the world's best undeveloped assets that we have a 30% profits interest of, and that's uh, an asset called Hot Modern. It's in Turkey. It's operated by Lady Maiden Chilik, which is a multi-billion dollar national conglomerate. Mm -hmm. it's, it's basically a 40 meter wide ore body that has about 13 grams gold to equivalent the entire way, and it comes right to surface. It's incredible. But some of my favorites, too, are, are some of the times where we pay very little for a small royalty and it becomes worth a lot. We've we purchased royalties for 100,000, 200,000 that end up being worth several million dollars. And so some of those are my favorites too. Fantastic. And uh, so just talking about prices, uh, in the last few days uh, gold's been continuing down and I believe today it's at 1225. Can you tell me a little bit about what you make of that? Yeah. Well, I think right now if you were to actually go back a year or two ago and and you were talking to me and you would tell me that we would be in a situation where there would be an active international trade war started by the U.S., which creates a strong U.S. dollar and hurts gold, that the Fed would have been able to hike short-term interest rates 2% and be on a path to continuing with their trajectory that it'll be 3 3.5% by next year. And if you would have told me just those two things alone and asked me to guess the price of gold, I would have said something like $900 or $1,000. And we're sitting here over $1,200 an ounce, despite the fact that those two things are happening, which to me is a very bullish sign. I'm, I'm actually pretty excited because those two things, both of them are temporary. I don't think either of them are sustainable for more than a year or two. 
and uh, I think the price of gold is going to shine a couple years from now. So is it the time to buy now or wait? Well, that's certainly what we're doing. At, at Sandstorm, we're continuing to acquire royalties. We're getting incredible deals right now because companies are, are really desperate for capital. It's hard to raise money if you're a gold mining company right now. And so we're getting incredible value for our shareholders, so it's fantastic. At the same time, our share price is we've been able to use this period of time to buy back our shares, so it's also good for us for that period of time. So despite the fact that the rest of the industry is coming off, our share price hasn't been, and so we're continuing to buy back shares and, and grow the company. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll finish up there then. Uh, once again, uh, I'm Scott Tibbles with the Investing News Network, and I've been joined by Nolan Watson, President and CEO of Sandstone Gold. Thank you for joining me, Nolan. Well, thank you.